Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome to Champagny et Brandoise for a UIAA Ice Climbing World Cup. As you can see from the mask, things are different this year as COVID continues to sweep the world. But the athletes are ready to compete and I cannot wait to be back on the competition scene. Rob, we're back at a UIAA competition. This season's a little bit different. We're all wearing masks. It's Corona time. Just explain to us what's going on. Yep, so it's obviously been a difficult season for the organizers, the athletes, and us at the UIA. We've had to cancel quite a lot of competitions that we had originally planned. We originally had a amazing season planned but due to COVID-19 we've had we've had to cancel quite a lot of competitions but it's fantastic that we managed to squeeze this one in uh, in France and uh, it's brilliant that uh, La Plagne and La Champion Vanois have been able to host us. We decided to cancel the World Cup overall at the beginning of the season. It was obvious it wasn't going to be possible for all the athletes from all the federations that would normally be there to be there and we wanted to have events to be representative of the world as opposed to kind of just the athletes that don't have travel restrictions at the moment. So we put this event on and most of the athletes within Europe could travel. So we uh, decided to, uh, to have a European Championships as opposed to a World Cup, which would normally be here. So safety, of course, is paramount. Covid tests uh, on hand for us to do before the competition starts, before we can be allowed anywhere near anything. So I'm going to go have something long shoved up my nose or down my throat. We'll, we'll see. Luckily, I'm a big, tough ice climber, and I can handle that with with only a little tiny tear in my left eye. It's fine. I'm fine.
Luna, congratulations. Uh, another season and immediately you're back to winning ways. How did that feel today? Yeah, pretty good. It was like amazing. I think I started the route with a bit of pressure. I think you can saw that in the video on the third hold. I uh, third hold, I kind of started to, to sink a lot. And, uh, and then I get in the rhythm back. And uh, yeah, feels really great. I think I started the route really fast and aggressively. And then at the end, I felt like like almost at the, at the end of my power, so yeah, it was close for me. <laughs> Maria, congratulations on winning today. What was it like to compete once again? Yes, I very, really like it. It's a very beautiful place and a very not easy route, and I'm a very happy uh, be winner. <laughs> I have nabbed the top spot on the podium because no one's around to tell me off. What a cool competition and some amazing routes. That transition from dry tooling to ice and then back again was so exciting. Cheers for watching guys and fingers crossed we get a full season next year. Covid, go away. <laughs>